Hey there, this is the Storm King and I welcome you to the next episode of Railroads Online. So in our previous episode, we made a few rounds between our logging camp and, uh, and the smelter and supplied it with cordwood. So now the cordwood is full in our smelter's uh, collection area. So now in this episode, we are going to get some iron ore. So before we can make iron ore, we need to supply the iron ore mine with lumber and beams so for that first we will go up to our sawmill uh, pick up a few cars and also in between i'm thinking of uh, buying another porter engine maybe the porter 2 and a few hopper cars to carry our lumber and uh, sorry to carry the iron ore that we produce so our smelter needs about thousand iron ore so Let's, let's get started. So we are on our way back up to the sawmill. Currently we have about $2,000 and each uh, hopper car costs about $850. So I guess we need to do a few runs between the sawmill and the iron mine before we can uh, buy some cars and the next uh, porter to help us with the shunting around the iron mine. Also some of the tracks need to be fixed so I guess uh, first instead of going up to the sawmill we'll go up to the iron mine, fix up the tracks there, make a shunt track for the high iron ore uh, hoppers for the hopper cars and then do our sawmill to iron ore mine run. So we are back up at the sawmill, let's reverse back and uh, pick up a few of the flatbed cars, load up on our beams and lumber and then we can go back down towards our uh, iron mine. Stop this, press the brakes and slowly let's give the reverse for some So now we've got all our six flatbed cars, let's go up to the sawmill and load them up. So the iron ore holds about 20 beams and 24 uh, lumber, so I'm thinking of using 4 cars for beams and 2 cars for lumber, keeping it to a 1 to 1 ratio. Each car holds around 3 beams, so 4 cars will hold 12 beams and uh, the other 2 cars hold 6 lumber each, so that will again be another 12. So each round we can expect to produce around 12, uh, exactly 12 units of iron ore if there is no wastage uh, that happens in this. 
So the sawmill is also full. There are about 100 of both of them. So I guess it should be good enough to fill up most of the um, I don't mind. It has an output capacity of around 490. So yeah, I think it will be I guess this distance will be good for our lumber. Let's have lumber the last two cars. And load up beams on the first. Uh, we overshot by a car. So that's the last beam. Let's push back behind that switch, uh, flip it over and we can take this route back up to our iron ore mine. So I've gone a little behind the switch. Let's get this aligned and this distance should give us enough of a run up before we hit that slope so hopefully the momentum that is generated should carry us up the slope We've almost made it up to our mine. Let's turn off the regulator. This is all uh, going ahead is a constant grade all the way around till the 
uh, other end of this plateau. The second line is intended more as a storage area for uh, for our hopper cars because we don't want to go up and down the valley with them uh, from the sawmill to the iron ore mine because it is just unnecessary weight. So yeah, maybe in the next few episodes we'll build a curve out here like something that goes all the way around and so it connects back into a switch here so that should make it easy for us to turn the shunting engine of the locomotive around and make it much more easy I think we can have two cars within in the length of this uh, drop point. Slow down a bit more. So let's check if it works out. So we have 0 out of 20. Let's select this car and load it. So yeah, it has picked up 3. This might be difficult so I'll put, get the train a little more ahead and then unload it. Ok so we're aligned, let's unload the next car. Ok so we've got all 6 so that's good but uh, yeah, each time we unload is trying to throw the car off so maybe uh, moving the lines a little bit more towards the platform would be better or I guess uh, also reducing the height of this crate. So all the 12 beams are loaded and it's captured all 12 so I think it's good so now let's get the lumber and they should start producing some of the iron ore okay so the lumber cars are aligned let's unload them That went smooth, so we have yep, 12 lumber, and since there's one less, there should be one iron ore here. So, yeah, we started to generate iron ore. So, let's make a few more rounds and fill this up as much as possible. So, we are on our way back. All the 12 lumber and beams have been used up, and we have 12 iron ore. So we've made a couple of rounds between our sawmill and the iron ore mine. There are the number of beams and lumber is almost done at the sawmill and we have about 55 of our iron ore. So I will continue this um, moving the lumber and beams between the sawmill and the iron ore mine to fill this up to 290 and I'll see you all in the next episodes. So thank you all for watching till the end, please do hit the like, share and subscribe buttons, please put in your comments 
in the comment section below and thank you all for watching till the end and happy new year